Hi guys, and welcome to our second NBT AQL test preparation video. Today, we are going to, first of all, go through uh, what to expect from these uh, English uh, tests. Uh, in the first video, we did a bit of housekeeping where I showed you that a lot of people had commented on our maths videos that um, the same questions that were in the maths videos um, were actually in the NBT test that they wrote. And so it's the same for English. So I encourage you to watch as many of these videos. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description for um, to in order if you want to actually buy these um, past papers rather than um, having to watch all these videos um, because the English videos take a little bit more time than the maths videos because I have to read through them and uh, yeah, uh, English is a lot more reading than maths so it does take a bit of time please bear with me um, and I did say in the last video that I would be going through what to expect in these English um, tests. So uh, the first section is scrambled tests, um, which we went through last time. And that is where they give you a bunch of sentences and tell you to put them in the right order. The part B is going to be vocabulary knowledge. So your knowledge of the English vocab. Um, and so they will give you a test, a, a sentence with a word missing, and you have to figure out which word um, is going to fits best in that sentence. And then we are going to go through interpreting graphs. So this is kind of maths literature, maths lit um, vibes. Um, where you have to figure out what the graph means. So for those of you who prefer maths, this is a little bit of a break from the English, although it still requires interpretation. Um, and then register and text type. And so you have to now look at, and they give you a um, sentence, and then they ask you to interpret it. Uh, then um, text and comprehension. So this one, a lot of reading. You have to read the text, and then you have to um, answer a question based on that text. So if you struggle with time, go to this one, because once you've read the text, it's actually nice and fast and pretty, I'd say of the, of the sections, um, it's probably the easiest for all learners. So I think uh, first language English speakers are going to find the vocabulary section the easiest because it's just stuff they already know. Um, this section here, um, it's just based on, you know, can you read and then interpret and, uh, you know, you're going to find the answers somewhere in the text. So you're going to, you're going to start um, getting your marks uh, as you go through it. And then um, I'll get to the, some of these questions are quite, uh, the, the way they ask them, uh, when we get there, I'll, I'll show you it. it and that's why doing this preparation is going to help you a lot because um, you're going to have seen this stuff before. And so you're not going to waste time trying to figure out um, what it is. And then should we despise copycats? Um, so here what they do is they give you a paragraph and they emit words. And then they get you to try and figure out where a word has been emitted and what that word would be. Okay, and that is, yeah, that's the, that's the final section. So um, we'll get to this, but you, when you read the sentence, when you read this paragraph, um, something that with that, well, we'll get to it, but when you read, as I scroll up, uh, back up, we'll talk about it. So. Um, as you're reading through the paragraph, you'll notice that it doesn't make sense. And then you just need to make a little star because that's going to help you later. So you don't have to keep rereading. Okay, so um, that's what you've got to expect. Um, hopefully you are, have left yourself a bit of time. Um, but if you are studying the night before and you don't have much time, 
rather than watch me do it, I would actually, I know it seems like I'm trying to sell, but I would uh, go on and click that link and get the past papers so that you can do it a bit quicker. And then the memos are there too. So you can quickly get the answers. And um, yeah, because as I say, these, these, these questions, a lot of them are going to be coming up again. And the other thing is, if you're watching this um, on the around about August, early September, not all of the videos are going to be released. So you actually need to get the test. Um, but I will be making more videos as long as you guys keep subscribing and, and, and supporting the channel. So yeah, please click that subscribe button and we will keep uh, sending content. All right, the parts you've been waiting for, questions. All right, um, any invention that can something to the reduction of carbon dioxide is nowadays regarded as being new. Got to be distribute, no. Can substitute the reduction, no. Attribute to the reduction, no. I think most of you contribute. Any invention that contrib can contribute to the reduction of carbon. So if you find yourself being confused in the first section, now you're saying that, okay, it is good. It's not so bad. Some of these questions are really good. Okay. I honestly do not think that he has always understood the something of his own dark work fully. That he was a genius of an inventor, however, is beyond. Okay. I honestly don't think that he has always understood the uh, it's going to be implications of his own doubt work fully. Okay, I think I that didn't make sense. I think that I've uh, we transcribed these from um, talking to people and stuff. Uh, his own work fully. I think doubt shouldn't be there because it would make sense. I honestly do not think that he always understood the implications of his own work fully. That he was a genius of an inventor, however, is beyond doubt. Okay, so doubt should be at the end. Okay, so sorry, first video. Um, I'm going to obviously change this. I'm going to make a note to change this. Question number seven. Um, change question seven. Okay. Um, guys, I'm sorry about this. I will check better. So, um, I've got to be honest with you, I'm off to Kruger tomorrow. And so I really wanted to get some content out fast and I didn't check fully um, before. And so I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, the next videos, I promise you I'm gonna um, improve on that. Okay. Something, despite this eventuality, we know today that at least those of his inventions that were patented are regarded to be some of the most useful in history. Okay, so what do we think that is? Notwithstanding despite, no. Although, no. Contrary despite this, no. It's yet. Yet, despite this eventuality, we know today that at least those are his inventions. So, um, this really helps if you're a first language speaker, um, you know, just because it just sounds right. Um, so, that's the answer is A. So, for those of you who didn't know that it was yet, um, what I would do is just keep looking at these videos and past tests and uh, just getting used to it. Um, and uh, yeah, you're probably going to see that the same questions will come up. Okay, highly successful inventors seldom are the first to hit upon a new idea. It is more likely that they will 
something, but with creativity and imagination and already existing ideas. They will certify, but with creativity, modify, but with creativity, that sounds right, vilify with <clears throat> justify, okay. So modify. Modify means change. Okay. More likely that they will change, but with creativity and imagination and already existing idea. So they're going to modify that already existing idea. Such reuse of someone else's big idea is nowhere better something than in the creative imaginations of Western products by Japanese industries after World War II. Okay, so extracted, taken away, no. Um, extrapolated, no, extrapolate is uh, not in the word. Uh, exonerated, no, exonerated. Exemplified. Nowhere better exemplified, so shown. Nowhere better shown, so shown in a good light. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, in the end, however, there is no, I'm, I'm not even going to no substitute, right? There's no substitute for possessing imagination. I'm going to read the rest of that. Constitute, no, we have to make that of destitute, destitute thing uh, for not having anything. Um, all right, so uh, that was substitute. Something, the many new products that we see coming to the market is the spirit of the time they evoke. That intangible aura of being with it, of being abreast of time, of belonging to the new and exciting. Underperforming, no, right? Undertaking, no. Underlying means within. So within the many new products. Okay, so that's going to be A, underlying the many new products. Okay, undertaking is to be, no, under presenting, no. What I am speaking of here, of course, is not what is something on the surface in our, in our encounters with new inventions. Rather, it is about the breadth of imagination, the depth of intellect, and the struggle of articulation that precedes them. What I'm seeing is not what is visible on the surface, visible on the surface, credible on the surface in our encounters, quantifiable, laudable. No, it's visible. No. Okay, so in, in the 13 was the one where you could have maybe put one of the others in, but then if you read the last part, rather it is about the breadth of imagination, the depth of intellect, and the struggle. So it's it's not obvious. Okay. So it, therefore it's not visible. On the surface. Um, many do not realize that this engagement with the project of building a new range of ultra capacitors, there was entirely something no one would previously have expected him to work without remuneration. Okay, so it must be solitary, right? Because he's done his own. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Many do not realize the engagement in the project building new range where they were entirely voluntary. Yeah. So it's voluntary. voluntary. It's voluntary because he's not being paid. Okay, last one. Something, however, is never mere mimicry. The imitation must be conceived with a good deal of imagination and to possess a new creative angle to grab the attention and be successful. Okay, so concentration, however, is never mere mimicry. No. Spoliation is never mere mimicry. No. Innovation, however, is never mere mimicry. The imitation must be. Uh, 
for innovation. However, it is never mere mimicry. Okay, why is that true? Because mimicry is to copy something, whereas innovate is to create your own new thing. Okay, so there we go. Um, that is uh, the end. I, I kind of I went through those pretty quickly. Um, please comment in the video if you want me to stop and explain the meaning of each word. Um, I'm happy to do that. Um, but I, I know that a lot of you probably just want the questions and to get through as many as you can. But um, I'm happy to just go to each word and say what they mean. Um, but yeah, other than that, hopefully that helps. Please comment um, and that'll give me a good idea of what you guys need from these videos, what I'm not giving you. And uh, I'm happy to yeah, just uh, um, change depending on what you guys say. If you are happy, then just give a, a thumbs up. Just like the video anyway, though, please. It <laughs> uh, really helps the channel. And I will see you next time for part C.